Shark Week 2020 has officially started, and we here on the Benji Thomas channel would like to begin by celebrating the wonderful animals that sharks are. Instead of wrestling a great white for some reason, we're starting off by looking at why these animals are so crucial to preserve, and the incredibly important roles that these fish fill in our planet's waters. First of all, sharks are absolutely critical in maintaining the ecosystems of the oceans, as these animals are often the apex predators of their respective food webs. This means that the sharks are not preyed on by many other non-human animals, and have a significant effect on the populations of the organisms below them in the webs. Being near the top of the food web, they're therefore a good indication of the overall health of the ocean too. Not only does the predation pressure from large sharks help to weed out the sick or unfit members of their prey populations, helping to improve the gene pool and keep the overall population in good shape, but their presence also keeps the prey numbers in check. A good example of why sharks are so important is the case of seagrass meadow environments. In these habitats, green sea turtles feed on the grasses and are beneficial due to their removal of the seagrass biomass, which reduces the formation of sediment anoxia. However, when the sharks that prey on the turtles are killed off, the sea turtle population ends up growing too large, and start overfeeding on the seagrass, destroying an important habitat for many other organisms. Similarly, when sharks are removed from coral reef ecosystems, the smaller predatory fish they feed on, such as groupers, grow in numbers, in turn causing a decrease in the small herbivorous fish populations as they're preyed on more often. Without these herbivores, algae begins to grow out of control across the coral reef. In a reef dominated by algae, the overall biodiversity decreases and the reef is no longer as effective at recovering from storms, coral bleaching or other disturbances. Even just the presence of sharks is significant, as the spatial distribution of the animals they prey on can be influenced due to the effects of intimidation. The fear induced in organisms of being preyed upon by sharks leads to alterations in their activities and where they spend the most time in their habitat. So sharks are clearly a vital part of the ocean, and the disappearance of such animals has some incredibly alarming impacts. Once you start to remove pieces of this intertwining network of organisms, it's not long before unforeseen consequences arise. Another highly important role that sharks fill is in keeping the carbon cycle running. As I've already mentioned, sharks help to maintain healthy seagrass environments, which store a significant amount of carbon both in the plants and in the sediment, keeping it out of the atmosphere and contributing to climate change. But in addition to this, large sharks are actually capable of storing quite a bit of carbon themselves. Research published in 2010 found that large marine vertebrates such as whales and sharks can sequester significant amounts of carbon in their bodies, which means that when these animals die and sink into the depths of the ocean, this carbon leaves the layers nearer the surface and is transported much deeper. However, when sharks, whales and other large marine vertebrates are killed by humans, this carbon leaves the ocean. The removal of such organisms therefore reduces the ocean's total capacity for carbon storage. Although it's mainly phytoplankton that contributes the most to the movement and storage of carbon in the oceans, the role that vertebrates such as sharks play should still not be ignored. Sharks that scavenge on carcasses are also significant in moving carbon around the ocean, as the carbon from the dead matter gets passed to their own bodies, helping to sequester it. Sharks may have some other ways that they could directly help our species as well, including cures for human diseases. Tissue from certain sharks has some remarkable features, such as a dermatan sulfate found on the skin of a small spotted cat shark which acts as an anticoagulant, and shows promise for use as a drug in anticoagulant therapy. Additionally, shark skin has helped researchers develop a kind of antimicrobial coating for use on high-touch surfaces in places such as hospitals, which makes it more difficult for bacteria to stick to these locations and therefore reducing the spread of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Called Sharklet AF, this material was inspired by the anatomy of shark skin, which is adapted to resist organisms becoming attached to it such as algae or barnacles, maintaining their efficient hydrodynamic shape. Plus there's also indications that a compound called squalamine found in dogfish sharks could have huge benefits for humans. At one point, clinical trials were underway to test the compound as a cancer drug and to treat macular degeneration, but there's also potential for its use in fighting viruses, as it's capable of interrupting the virus life cycle and halting its reproductive process. Sharks have a remarkable antiviral defense system, and it seems clear that future study into these amazing organisms could yield all kinds of significant advances for human medicine. Sharks are also incredibly important for the economy, especially as ecotourism becomes increasingly popular. 
According to a study published in 2013, it was estimated that people watching sharks spent more than 314 million US dollars per year and directly supported 10,000 jobs. Whereas the landed value of shark fisheries around the world earned about 630 million US dollars in 2013 and has been on the decline for a while as the unsustainable catching of sharks drives many fisheries out of business, the number of people engaging in shark watching is on the rise, estimated to potentially double by 2033 and by then be earning over 780 million US dollars from tourism. A great example of the significance of these animals to the economy can be seen in the island nation of Palau where sharks bring in a lot of tourists. It's been calculated that each live reef shark generates about $179,000 per year, and around $1.9 million throughout their entire lifetime. On the other hand, a fin from a dead shark would only sell for approximately $108. So, support reputable shark ecotourism. It should be obvious now that sharks are especially important animals to conserve. Even if these reasons weren't enough, the fact that this lineage has been around for over 400 million years, long before dinosaurs or mammals evolved, and that we've now decided to systematically annihilate as many species as we can is a decision that will inevitably lead to widespread and disastrous repercussions. It's incredibly self-centered to think that we as a species have any right to wipe out such animals. These fish have been here so much longer than us and arguably perform a far more important role in the Earth's ecosystems than we ever have. Humans have an obligation to protect these animals and to try and undo as much of the damage that we've already done, and I hope this video has been able to help you see why. I also hope you enjoyed this first Shark Week video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of this event. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters, especially our Dinosaur Tier supporters Jan Owen, Corey Peterson, George Vojtek, Persian Boy, Mike Pace, Mayer's World, Dhruv Srivastava, Jacob Stewart, Matthias Bergscher, Nicole Bueno, Pasta, Mark Fawn, Dominic Bathy, Harry Evert, and Alex Hawke. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.